Edible Plants Part 10 The shoots of Paul Solomon's seal can be eaten like asparagus. The fruits are also edible but they are a mild laxative. Young leaves can be eaten raw or cooked. The root should be soaked in alkaline water first to get rid of the uh, disagreeable taste. It is then soaked in water to get rid of the lye and then it can be eaten like potatoes or pickled. The plants tend to become too bitter and fibrous when they get older. You need to exercise caution because the young strongly resemble false hellebore. Corn salad has edible leaves and flowers. They can be used in salads. They are said to have a very delicate quality that makes them melt in your mouth. They are also said to have a very mild flavor, slightly mucilaginous. It's a very nutritious herb. It was originally eaten mainly by peasants in Europe. The seeds of blue verbena are edible. It can be ground into a flour. It's a little bit bitter, but you can reduce the bitterness by leaching it. The leaves can be used as a tea substitute. Genus Viola, or the violets, have edible flowers and leaves. They are good either raw or cooked. When added to soup, it thickens the soup much in the same way as okra does. The leaves have a very mild flavor, but they will get quite tough when they get older. The majority of violets are actually herbs. There are a few that are shrubs. There is a compound in the flowers known as ionone. You can only smell it for a moment, but it's characteristic of most violets. Wild grape obviously have fruit that's edible to humans. It can be poisonous to dogs, by the way. What some people don't know is that the leaves are actually quite good. They're very tart. They have a pleasant sourness. They are a little bit tough when they get older, though. Like many fruit, grape tend to be better after the first frost. California fan palms have edible fruit, leaves, and seeds. The fruit can be either eaten raw or cooked, or it can be dried for later use. It is made into jellies and drinks, and sometimes ground into a meal. The seeds can be ground up with the dried fruit and then all of it eaten together. They are widely cultivated as ornamental trees. The plants can survive considerable frost and temperatures down to 10 below C. Mule ears are members of the sunflower family. They have edible leaves, roots, and obviously seeds. The seeds are usually cooked. They can be ground into a powder and used with cereals. Young leaves and stems can be eaten raw or cooked. The roots were usually cooked on very hot stones, sealed with fern leaves, and then buried for one or two days before being eaten. Bear grass are members of the lily family. The roots can be boiled or roasted. They are also used as soap. The leaves are often used in weaving baskets. Its other name is Indian basket grass. I see yucca roots on sale in the local store. It's mostly a Mexican neighborhood, by the way. The roots can be used as a source for soap. The flowers and unopened seed pods can be eaten. They are members of the agave family. Some of them, like Joshua trees, are obviously protected in, in the parks, and you shouldn't eat those. I've eaten the young seed pods before they opened. The ones I ate were pretty good. It was a little bitter, but not bad. The plants are also used as a source for fiber.
Burdock are members of the thistle family. They form burrs that stick in animals' fur. They get really bad in some dogs. The very young leaves of the plants can be eaten raw. The same thing is true about the roots. Young ones can be eaten raw, but they need to be cooked if they get older. Young roots have a mild flavor, but it gets stronger as the root gets older. The root is very high in inulin. That means it'll become sweeter if you cook it under a lot of heat for a long time. You can peel the flowering stems and eat the pith.